Now we will discuss voltage and current sources. An electrical source is a device which converts mechanical, thermal, chemical or some other form of energy into electrical energy. There are two types of sources, voltage sources and current sources. Voltage sources are further categorized as ideal voltage source and practical voltage source. Examples of voltage sources are batteries, dynamos, alternators, etc. Ideal voltage source is defined as the energy source which gives constant voltage across its terminals irrespective of current drawn through its terminals. The symbol of ideal voltage source is shown here. In an ideal voltage source, the terminal voltage is independent of the load impedance, RL connected. Whatever is the voltage of the source, the same voltage is available across the load terminals of RL, that is, VL equals VS under loading condition, as shown here. There is no drop of voltage in the source supplying current to the load. The internal resistance of the source is therefore zero. In a practical voltage source, there will be a drop in voltage available across the load due to voltage drop in the resistance of the source itself when a load is connected, as shown here. In certain applications, a constant current flow through the circuit is required. When the load resistance is connected between the output terminals, a constant current IL will flow through the load. The examples of current sources are photoelectric cells, collector current in transistors, etc. The symbol of current source is shown here. Now we will come to practical voltage and current sources. A practical voltage source like a battery has the drooping load characteristics due to some internal resistance. A voltage source has small internal resistance in series. On the other hand, a current source has some high internal resistance in parallel. For ideal voltage source, internal series resistance is zero. For ideal current source, parallel internal resistance is infinity. A practical voltage source is shown as an ideal voltage source in series with a resistance. This resistance is called the internal resistance of the source, as shown here. A practical current source is shown as an ideal current source in parallel with its internal resistance as shown here. From this figure, we can write VL at open circuit condition is equal to VS. That is, when the load is removed, the circuit becomes an open circuit and the voltage across the source becomes the same as the voltage across the load terminals. When the load is short-circuited, the short-circuit current, IL, will be Vs by RSE, where RSE is the internal resistance of the source.
In the same way, from this figure, we can write VL at open circuit equals to ISH into RSH. and IL at short circuit equals to IS. Hope you got the idea. Thank you.